Okay, so this is going to be a lesson on a Tommy Johnson song called Cool Drink of Water Blues. And whether it's the tuning that he used or not, um, I think we'll go ahead and play this in Vestipole Open D tuning. And once you get your guitar tuned to that, just cable up to the second fret and you'll be good to go. Alright, so what I'll do is go through the two guitar parts that you hear on the recording. And then maybe a few variations that you might uh, be interested in playing beyond just what Tommy and his uh, playing partner play. So um, we'll assume, I'm sure there's someone out there who can, you know, confirm whether Tommy's the solo guitar player or the, or the rhythm guitar player, but we'll just go kind of on the estimation that he's the rhythm guitar player for now. What he does is just a really simple riff that he essentially loops throughout the song, and that just goes like this. Okay, now he might change up the rhythm slightly, but for the most part that's, that's all there is to it. It's just a top string, then a bend on the third fret of that top string, just a tiny half step bend at the most. Then the top string, B, then the B string, the same bend. A couple ways he might change it up at the most will be if he does this. What he's doing there is just after that first bend, he's hitting the major sixth. So that will be on the second fret of the A string. Same riff. And then after this, I just what I do is I just kind of strum a cluster of strings. And of course, since we're in open B, it's conveniently, you know, just the open strings. Another thing you might do is uh, this. Same major sixth on the A string, and then the rest of those uh, three strings open, and then just open strings. And then if you want to add a third chord on top of that, you just include that tall string. He does that maybe once or twice. Okay, so that's all there is to it essentially. Now the second guitar. We can go through this uh, as well decently quick. Um, the notes that he targets or plays are basically going to be um, the notes that constitute the major triad of just one, three, five. So very simple. And he might do. I could probably demonstrate this better if I had a pick, but he'll he might do these mandolin-like lines where he just goes. So that's just five, three, one. Or he might hit the roof. Something like that. So one, five, three. You know, very, very simple. Um, one thing that he always plays around the turnaround. Is that lick, and that's just going to be seventh fret of the bottom string. Seven, six, seven. Then sliding into the four, open, and then D string open. Again, if we look at the note choices there, it's just five, three, one, one. If we look at the degrees of the major scale, so this is the fifth note of the major scale, third note, first note, first note. Okay, so again, very simple. Um, Beyond that, there's, you know, not much that they play, uh, or that that they stretch out with. 
in the recording. So um, I thought it would be kind of cool to look at different ways that you can go about uh, creating your own variations. And um, for some examples, you know, one thing that bluesmen, uh, regardless of generation, traditionally do is, you know, of course, they just pull from previous recordings. You know, just like any other genre, uh, any other kind of artist, etc. You know, nothing that you don't know. So, um, you know, one thing that you could do is, I thought, something like Pony Blues, Sunhouse recorded Pony Blues. The particular one that I'm thinking of with Alan Lomax, I think it was around 1940. And what he'd do is this. So that kind of thing, of course, Cool Drink of Water is a bit mellower than this Sunhouse song. So if you wanted to include this riff, change up how you play the actual notes. So maybe it'll be something like this.
all sorts of ways that with such a simple guitar riff you can, you know, do all sorts of personal contributions to the rendition that you want to do. And this is just one particular path that you could take that is just taking previous riffs and all these tunes I think I've done lessons, or I know I've done lessons for, so you know, just incorporating these kinds of things not only helps to create a really interesting rendition of something like Cool Water, Cool Drink of Water Blues, but it helps internalize these riffs into your own mind and, and then consequently into your own playing to kind of help enrich uh, your blues playing. So yeah, 